Good morning all, how are you diddling? Um, yeah, who'd have thought that this 99 cents syringe full of solder paste would have caused so much controversy? Um, well, not one to shy away from controversy, in fact, quite the opposite. I thought I'd do a solder paste syringe related post bag! Right, here's the first one, and I um, haven't seen one like this for a while with a handwritten customs label and even an airmail sticker, um, $7.50 Hong Kong dollars. Now they were about 10 to 1 I think when I went there, which was a long time ago, so that, that might have changed, but that's a lot of postage, isn't it? These people are obviously not using the uh, postage services that most eBay sellers are using, and look at this very, very elaborate thing. Right, what do we have here? Oh, something written there. Assortment. Yes, it is an assortment. It's an assortment of syringe needles. Right, I think we're going to have to zoom in a bit here. Zoom. Uh, oh, that's a bit too much. How about that? So all sorts of different syringes here from some quite thin ones. Um, I think six of the seven, if this is seven, was it seven? Uh, yes, six of the seven are metal. Oh, no, five of the seven are metal syringes from the very Thin. They're all blunt needles, so it's not going to penetrate the skin. Um, to the whopping great thick, that one must be all of a millimetre across. Um, two of them are just plastic nozzles with a hole in the end. In fact, does that one have a hole in the end? Yes, it does have a hole in the end. So I could try those as well. But I'm thinking for this relatively viscous fluid, we're going to need quite a fat one like that maybe. Or that one might work. Um, I'm sure the listing has all the details of what sizes these are, so I suppose we'd better look at that. So this uh, item is glue syringe tips various gauge for solder paste, adhesive, so they're used for dispensing glue, lure lock set. Now the lure lock is the sort of threaded screw thing that um, these tips screw into the end of the syringe, uh, I've discovered. So these were uh, $2.49 for those seven, free shipping, and these came from Beerist. And uh, further down, we have note to buyers, the prices for seven tips, plastic tips, 14 and 15 gauge. What, really? They're very different sizes. That's surprising. Stainless steel tips, uh, 15, 18, 21, 23, and 27 gauge, spelt wrong. Yes, I'm a bit dubious. I can't see how that can be 14 and 15 gauge. I think that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, they are very, very different in terms of size. Now, the question is, do these fit on t end of t syringe? So let's check that out. Oh, by the way, this torch does work. They are, look, it does work. It has even that zoomy thing on the end, just for anyone who's uh, thinking it's just a prop. Oh no. Um, okay, so let's go with, oh, I don't know, what about this one? See if this lure lock thing works. Oh yeah, that fits fine. So that's obviously lure lock compatible. The question is how much force will be needed on the end of there to force uh, solder paste down through that ooh, half inch or so of needle? Well, maybe we'll find out. Okay, next up is this one. Let's take a look at what this is. Oh, it's a piece of pipe with an O-ring and a funny sort of connectory thing on it. Now the question is, will this fit? I hope so. And if you're shouting at the screen now saying, I told you air pressure was the way to go, you were right. I was wrong. I came up with this uh, contraption, which when forced down into the end of here, it fits very well actually, um, allowed me to sort of turn this screw thread and push down on this. But there are numerous problems with this. Um, one of them is that that sort of plunger thing, that almost a membrane, just a, a sort of separator from the paste bit to the fresh air bit, um, is actually quite flexible and um, it's very difficult to push it the precision amount required to dispense a precise volume of paste. Um, also, the end of this bolt is all a bit, it's not very cleanly manufactured. So as you turn it, it sort of grinds on this and you can't get a precision amount of paste dispensed 
by turning the thread a precise number of degrees. So I was kind of thinking, as I do, what's the way to get a certain amount of paste dispensed? Um, and I came to the conclusion it was based on flow rate. I mean, we saw, didn't we, that when I turned this thing, there's a delayed reaction because this paste is very viscous and it has a certain flow rate. And I thought, well, what would give rise to a precise flow rate? And I thought, well, it's got to be a precise pressure on this side of that uh, membrane, that separator. And so the obvious solution is air pressure. But I had to come to that conclusion in my own terms. I can't just be told that's how everyone does it. No, I have to work it out for myself. So I reckon that air pressure behind this separator is proportional to flow rate. And given that, and if you turn that air pressure into a constant, then the time that that air pressure is applied will be proportional to volume of paste dispensed. That's how I'm seeing it now. Right, so let's put that O-ring on there. I assume it goes on that uh, first position. Might need a little bit of Vaseline on there. Now, is this going to fit? I remember that the inside diameter of this is 16 because my bolt, what I bought, has a diameter of 16. This said it was 15 and a half or something, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Oh yeah, that seems like a pretty good fit. That's a tight seal. And then you rotate this because it's got two empty things and it, oh, that's rather good, isn't it? It's almost as though it was made for the job. Yeah, so that's the method for uh, getting compressed air into here. Now, what sort of pressure do we need? That's the question. I think someone commented that you might need something like about 50 PSI. That sounds like quite a lot to me. Now, what about this fitting on the other end of the pipe? Um, I don't recognize that. So yeah, let's just cut it off because I don't think we need that. Off you come. There we go. That's got rid of that. <laughs> Great, that's much better. So this item is a K9 one meter or 39.41 inches. That's very precise, isn't it? Uh, length air tubing, 10 cubic centimeter glue dispenser syringe adapter, and it fits beautifully. And I don't get too upset that I cut that connector off. These things are only $1.51. So if subsequently I realize that I need that connector, uh, I can buy another one of these. Uh, so free shipping, and this one came from, oh, Koryoshi239. Okay, next up we've got this. It's quite a bit bigger. What's inside here? Oh, it's one of those foot pumps that you use to blow up beach inflatables. So I think you're probably getting the picture here, aren't you? Question is, can I get mm, lots of PSI out of this thing? Why did I buy this? I'll tell you why, because it was dirt cheap. So here's the idea. Um, I attach this somehow. We've got red and blue. I wonder if one is blow and the other one is suck. That seems logical. I can't imagine there are two different pressures involved. Um, and I was thinking that if I could get enough um, pressure out of this thing. Is that going to expand? Yeah. Um, perhaps using sort of the human body's... Oh, there's a big spring in there. I can feel it. The human body's muscle memory. Is one of these suck? Oh yeah, that one's, that one's suck. And that one's blow. So I want the blue one. Um, I wonder if this piece of tubing could perhaps be adapted to go in there. That's a bit of a loose fit. But if I wound some um, insulation tape around there and then I just stamp on this thing, generate 50 PSI or whatever I need. Oh, there is a big spring in there um, in terms of pressure and then just sort of learn the process of applying the precise amount of pressure for the precise amount of time. I should get a precise amount of solder paste dispensed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure about this 50 PSI lock because uh, that pulls out of there quite easily. That's just a push fit. Uh, that pulls off there quite easily. 
I decided that I needed to use this blue hose as well as this clear one because despite this being 39.41 inches long um, that's not going to reach the floor where this where this pump needs to be so now I need to interface that onto the end of there yeah I think I'll probably do that with a bit of judicial cutting let's give it a try I think I meant judicious not judicial uh, right so yeah I'm cutting increasing the um, more and more of this off to try and interface my plastic tube with this tube but the question is is this going to work quite possibly not but I don't care because I quite enjoy the process and for a couple of dollars actually I think that might be more than a couple of dollars we'll have a look at that in a moment um, no that's still not fitting in there I need to cut more of this off and then force that into there and then give it a try so this one is inflatable boat toy foot pump air plastic bellows with hose for swim ring toy ball um, it is only $2.89 not $69.99 for one of those electronic or pressure timed pump things foot pedal with all the proper fittings <laughs> free shipping and this came from shopping new frog right i've managed to get that to uh force into there nice tight fit so that should be fine now the foot pump obviously has to go on the floor so let's put that down there and stick my foot on it and get ready to apply major pressure um, now we should be able to see paste start to dispense up through this semi-translucent um, let's bring the camera down a bit reposition the torch and yes I should be able to see that if I stamp on this foot pump okay applying as much pressure as I can is that coming out more pressure crikey you do need a lot of pressure for this no that's not budging at all let me just check the spec of that foot pump see if it's 50 psi right i'll take the needle off so that we can watch to see if any of this paste comes out now i'm gonna stand on this thing as hard as i can oh it's all bent under my foot oh, i think some of it might have come out but oh yeah look at that it's working but um that was me basically standing on that foot pump that has come out but i just feel that um there may be additional pressure would it require additional pressure to get it to come out of here to get it to go down through there i don't really know my fluid dynamics but yeah my gut feeling says that i'd have a job getting the solder paste down there actually let's go for the bigger one let's go for this one let's give this a try let's screw that on there stand on it and see if i can get any paste dispensed out of this needle at all incidentally these needles are quite um, inexpensive if you, if you buy them in packs of 100 and it does look to me like um, you probably would have to treat these as disposable because um, if paste is in there for any length of time and it starts to solidify I would imagine you'd have a job shifting it but yeah let's stand on this can I see through that probably could have shined a torch on it where's my other torch oh uh, my other torch incidentally just in case you're interested is a Phoenix E11 so uh, yeah I can probably see it moving through there right let's stand on the pump actually I'm amazed none of those hoses have exploded off oh one of the hoses exploded off oh well, that's all right all it was was that that just blew off of there I mean you know I can tape that on if necessary can't I that does seem very very loose right let's keep working on this right well i've been standing on that uh several times i'm amazed none of the pipes have blown off but there simply isn't enough pressure to uh push the solder paste through this relatively well i think relatively large diameter needle it's the largest of the ones i bought i mean possibly actually if i use one of the plastic ones well let's try that and i'm standing with all my weight on that pump the pump actually is starting to get a bit destroyed no I simply cannot <laughs> apply sufficient pressure to even get the solder place to budge significantly there is a little bit dispensed there I'm not sure if we can see this it's just emerged a tiny bit but the pump 
is not in a good way it's uh it's getting a little bit uh destroyed there so um yeah this is a fail i'm afraid no wait look it's a success proof of concept you get a lot of overrun so there's my little blob of paste stand on the pump with all my weight stuck oh that's got <laughs> That went bang, but look, there's another blob on the end there, which I can apply. So yeah, proof of concept, success, actual implementation, fail. And so these are today's post bag items. Now a big thank once again to Patreon supporters um, who allow me to do all this tomfoolery and uh, experiment with pumps that are clearly do not have sufficient air pressure to push the paste out. Um, if you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, then click this link here. Uh, there's another couple of videos up here if you'd like to watch more of my crazy nonsense. And if you're not subscribed, then click this link here to subscribe to my channel. Cheerio.